Mace, spilling the beans on Diddy's supposed past that is making Jaws hit the floor. I told you, the adventure isn't finished, and we're jumping profound into a few stunning disclosures. Could you at any point trust it? Maze, the man himself, is pulling back the drapery on Diddy's reality, and it's shocking. Word on the road is there's some serious tea fermenting about Diddy and, in all honesty, Minister T. D. Jakes. Indeed, you heard it right. The enormous T. D. Jakes. Supposedly, they've been messed up in a few obscure, mysterious-like dealings, and Mace isn't keeping down. That is to say, spill it, Maze, spill everything. Presently, recall when Cassie kicked make the way for Diddy's privileged insights? Gracious, she most likely didn't see this coming. It resembles the cascading type of influence of uncovering Diddy for everything except an ensemble kid. Each time we figure it can't get more chaotic, somebody wrenches up the show, and this time, it's Mace joining the discussion. This man's a minister now so you realize it must have been a battle for him to approach. Yet, he did, and it's a tell-all you won't have any desire to miss. Since Cassie dropped her claim bomb, the talk plan's been ablaze, foreseeing that Diddy will take an entire bundle of individuals down with him. All things considered, Mace isn't sitting around idly. He's tossing punches and uncovering the supposed disarray in Diddy's reality. Presently, we have a few key part in this unfurling show, and it resembles a Hollywood content just juicier. Youthful Miami, Jara Pierre, the two names threw in with a general mishmash, and we should not disregard Diddy's right-hand man, the unrivaled T. D. Jakes. Hold up, rewind, T. D. Jakes. Definitely, the minister and amigo to Diddy himself. Before Cassie totally exposed this entire thing, T. D. Was at that point causing a commotion, and not for the holiest reasons. This minister doesn't precisely fit the customary shape. Disregard teaching the good word. He's about that dollar greenback, you all. Cash, 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 that is the gospel as indicated by T. D. Jakes. Furthermore, we should not jump into his fixation on the charm and glitz of big name life. That is to say, genuinely, He's hobnobbing with the stars more than he's found in the seat. Presently, here's where it gets much really intriguing. Diddy and T. D. They're more tight than tight, and a few people are contemplating whether there's something else to their manly relationship. Diddy's been living under the shadow of those down-low reports for a very long time, and when you toss in T. D. Who's likewise been the subject of murmurs regarding his sexuality? It's a recipe for embarrassment. The bits of gossip about T. D's. Sexual inclination hit a pinnacle when his child caused problems, purportedly requesting some secret activity. Yowzer. It's a tangled snare of insider facts, people. We should rewind the clock a little. Diddy and T. D. Go way back. Back to the Kim Watchman days. At the point when misfortunes struck and Kim died, T. D was there with the sympathies, freely sharing the affection for Diddy's lost love. He even directed Kim's memorial service when Diddy inquired. Presently, that is kinship on another level. In any case, stand by, there's something else. T. D. Isn't simply a comforting presence. He's a standard at Diddy's hoedowns, a celebrity at the gatherings. A companionship goes past the lectern, and people are pondering exactly the way that profound these ties truly go. Presently, I'm not one to toss conceal, however truly, what's going on with a minister cozying up to Diddy and hitting up his infamous gatherings. We as a whole realize what goes down at those hoedowns, and it's not precisely Sunday school material. When it's all said and done, come on T. D. Jakes, you're a minister, is this the spot for you? Panther Wright didn't avoid getting down on T. D. And prepared to be blown away. She might have been on to something. Reports are whirling that Diddy and T. D. Are important for some mysterious society in Hollywood and those gatherings? Indeed, they're not your ordinary soirees. Recollect that pics from T. D's. Birthday slam, where Diddy hurled the Illuminati sign? Definitely. It wasn't only to look good. 
Rumors from far and wide suggest that party was an excess of a festival. It was a commencement into something greater, something cryptic. Be that as it may, hold your tattle ponies since raising a ruckus around town is about. Minister Mace, better believe it. The person who used to move with Diddy and Awful Kid Records is spilling the tea, and he's not keeping down. For those hiding in a cave somewhere, Mace has a set of experiences with Diddy, and it's not all daylight and rainbows. He used to be essential for Terrible Kid, however things went south, and Mace left the mark. What's more, when I say left, I mean there's some serious show here. Mace claims he composed the rhymes that put Diddy on the map during the 90s, yet he never got the credit or the money. Discuss a terrible kid separation. Presently, Diddy's been tossing Conceal back, calling Mays a phony minister and blaming him for running a con. The show is arriving at new levels, and I can hardly hold on to perceive how this all unfurls. Yet, hello, don't blindly believe me. Look out for the following sensation since this story is simply beginning. Presently, Diddy's rushed to get down on Mace, tossing around allegations and scrutinizing the realness of his minister title. Discuss someone acting over the top hypocritical, taking into account the tales orbiting around T. D. Jake's Diddy's ride or pass on. Be that as it may, honey, Mace hasn't arrived to play. He's venturing into the spotlight uncovering the inceptions that supposedly went down at these Hollywood Mystery Society get-togethers. And negative, it's not your commonplace circle and serenade sort of circumstance. May spilled the tea, and it's burning hot. Prepare yourselves, in light of the fact that, as per him, these commencements included a few genuinely sketchy customs. No doubt you heard it right bare antics that I'm not even going to depict on the grounds that Indeed, let your creative mind roam free. Presently, you all, this stunner disclosure has the web humming, and fans are not keeping down. Remarks are pouring in like, even the ones we think have an ethical compass for hanging with Diddy? What was T. D. Jake's doing around him? And Minister T. D. Jake's celebrating with Diddy, the known fiend himself? Gee, show me your companions, and I'll let you know what your identity is, godly man. The web's on fire with hypothesis, and the decision is still out on this particular fellowship. What's your interpretation of this hazardous disclosure? Is it true or not that you are stunned, or did you see it coming? Spill the tea in the remarks.